what's going on? Uh, nope, and don't put that in the video. <laughs> I don't want to hear. I don't want them to hear the mess ups. Uh, what's going on, guys? No slack, Novak back with Sim Airport episode eight. This is going to be a good one. I've looked over all of the comments in the comment sections, and there are a few things that you guys want me to focus on. Now, first and foremost, and I did do a little bit of. Um, I guess off-camera work that you guys uh, will not get to see, but you'll just have to trust me on. First of all, if we go into our profits and loss, we go to bank loans. I have paid off all of the bank loans. We do not owe one red cent. And we do have a little bit of extra cash. We have $332,000. So we have room uh, to expand and we don't have to wait a whole long time to, uh, you know, to earn that extra cash. Now, the first thing that I want to do, and I did do this a little bit off camera as well, I do want to finally insert a baggage system that is something we desperately, desperately, desperately need. Um, I want to get started on that. As you can see here, we've already kind of implemented it a little bit, and then I took it away so that I could do it on camera. But let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to go over here. We're going to search for conveyors. I want to attach the conveyors to all of these ticketing desks. And then over here, I want to do a conveyor down transition. And we want this to come right there. That is going to work out perfectly. And then let me give you a little sneak peek. Once that's built, it's actually going to come down here. I already have everything laid out. And it was actually easier than I thought. I, I think I might have made a little bit of a mistake. And I could have actually used these um, in end out points. However, I decided to go for the single if I click on this, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Um, this one only goes in. This one as well only goes in, out, and out. I maybe could have possibly used these. However, I didn't. So, oh well. Uh, however, that should work perfectly fine. Now, let's come back up here. Because of the layout, I did have to change this around a little bit. So, our fuel depot over here, or our refueling station, I just had to bump it up a little bit because the underground conveyor belt system was in the way. However, shouldn't be a big issue. Let's come over here. We're going to want to put one of these baggage depots down. I'm going to want to put it down. Um, let's see. Invalid placement, huh? Um, I'm going to put this sucker right. I believe I want to put it right there. I don't know if it needs to be rotated, though. That's the problem. Because, see, I already have the under underground stuff um, built. I believe I want to do it like so. We're just going to have to kind of do trial and error. Now, with that being a thing, with that all, all that stuff being constructed here in the short term, I'm going to also want to assign a couple of vehicles. Now, you guys see, I already have the fuel truck. However, I want a baggage car, and uh, we're going to need to. Um, I'm, I'm pretty certain we're going to need to kind of speed up the process. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Let's watch these guys build all this. I'm especially curious about this one here. Really want to make sure that that got put in correctly. Hopefully it did. Ooh, I think it didn't. <laughs> um, I nope. I think we're gonna have to flip it. Let's um. Let's see here. What does it say the problem is? Reachable road objects. I'm pretty certain that that is uh, put in incorrectly. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna dismantle that and we're gonna put it in, um, the exact opposite way. All right, there we go. All right, so we still have that uh, in our inventory. This guy needs to go in like so. I believe that'll work. And then if for some reason they don't use that same thing that we just dismantled, we can just go into our uh, delivery zone and, and sell all that junk and make a little bit of extra cash. But we are looking pretty good. It's about to be midnight, and we're still going to have a little extra cash left over. And midnight, and yeah, look at that. We still have $234,000. Anyways, let's make sure. Yeah. So this is good. That's set up exactly how we want it set up. Now, the only thing we have to do is assign it to the gates. That one is going to service all three gates. I think that shouldn't be a problem. Let's make sure everything is connected properly. We're going to speed up time. We're going to wait until our passengers come in. And then you know what else? Uh, we're kind of missing this, aren't we? We need to do the baggage uh, conveyor belt. Not the conveyor belt, but the carousel. 
Um, I believe this is the one we want. I wish you could kind of see. Well, okay, that one's from below. And no, th this one's from below. So this is the one that we want. Um, so that should work out beautifully right there. Let's have our construction crew hop on that. Get that done real quick. And is it going to work? It is going to work. Beautiful. Passengers should start coming in here any second. Now, that was the number one thing that I actually wanted to get done in this episode. As I'm kind of checking things off of my little list here. The other thing I want to do... Okay, hold on. Let's slow down time. And let's watch this in action. Um, okay, so we can clearly see the bags are coming in. They are able to bring the bags in. Bags go... They, they already went through the sorter. So now they're coming over here. These are the bags that are going to get loaded onto the plane. And this plane here... So one of our baggage cars should come over here. And actually, this one maybe didn't have... This one might not have come in time. However, the next one... The next plane should definitely use the baggage cart. The actual vehicle. Which, these planes should be coming in here any second. But yeah, after we determine that the, the baggage is working 100% correctly, then we can focus on some other things. Um, I think what I want to work on next is actually expanding the runway and getting those large flights in here. Alright, here we go. We got a plane coming in. And there it is. Look at that. Baggage cart's coming in. It's going to pick up these extra bags. And we should be able to see the transferring working. There it is. Transfer bags working. This one's working as well. That's why we have the two. Now let's go back underground. And we should see these bags. These bags are going to get delivered over here. There we go. Watch this. Bags are going to get delivered to the baggage depot. Let's go ahead and hop down here to the underground level. Speed up time just a little bit. And there they are. Baggage, baggage. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There it is. Beautiful. This works out great. This works out beautiful. Should come in here. Should get sorted. It'll get sorted. It'll come through here. It's going to come into the carousel. And there it is. Got the little alert buzz and everything. People now can pick up their luggage. Awesome. Now, of course, we're, we're probably going to have to expand the carousels and get a couple more in here. Um, I don't think one is going to be enough, especially once we do expand the, uh, the gates and we get some more in here. Now let's see, we have baggage carousel from above. Okay, so we have plenty of things over here that we can actually sell. I wish there was uh, some way to just do like a massive select all and sell these things. But, uh, oh well, there isn't. So let's go ahead and just knock this out real quick. A few moments later. Alright, one other thing I did want to do. I want to actually expand this zone over here, as somebody suggested in the comments section. Let's do, um zones uh passenger pickup i believe it's labeled as uh or maybe just pickups and then we're going to do let's do something like this just make it just make it a little bit larger eh, yeah i guess that's you know it doesn't have a huge impact on the game anyways so, oh man, that was a big step. That took us uh, that took us into the eighth episode to finally get a working baggage system. Anyways, you know what? That was super easy. It just did cost a lot of money because as you guys can see, there's a lot of underground foundation that needs to be uh, implemented in order to get that working. And as you guys probably know, the foundation is super crazy expensive. Um, just these little, and I tried to keep it as minimal as possible. Um, everything here probably cost a good $400,000. So that's kind of why um, I have to get a little bit of extra cash off camera. Because I didn't want you guys sitting through watching me pay off all those loans and then also getting the $400,000. And I really didn't want to get involved with uh, taking out some more loans. Now, now that that's all said and done, I think uh, the next thing we should focus on is the runway. Um, I do have a list of things that I'd want to work on. I want to do the runway. I want to do uh, the restrooms, because as you guys pointed out, we do have the two female restrooms over here. And then one of these over here is actually female as well. So really, we have three female restrooms and only one male restroom, which 
that clearly isn't fair now the way these restrooms over here are set up the way that they are is this restroom is pre security check and this one is post security check that's why we have the two female restrooms there however since this one um, is past security but so is this one which is this is a female restroom um we could probably just get rid of this one and maybe we'll make this one a male restroom as well that way it is um that way it's just you know more even now why am i not able to i did change the tool tip See, if I come over here and I go to options and I go to gameplay, I believe. Tooltip delay. I, I did increase that a little bit more. Just because I didn't want... That's a toilet stall, yes. Why can't I select the restroom here and change it to male restroom? Always something. There's always something. Maybe I have to go to build. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what it is. <laughs> uh, this is not uh, This is an airport CEO. I have to actually change this to male restroom via the zones. Now, even with that being a male restroom, um, I guess I can fit another urinal in there. We'll just do... <laughs> we'll just do one urinal. Uh, it's gonna look kind of funny. And then, you know what? We can actually fit another sink in there as well. No reason not to do that, right? Let's throw that uh, bad boy in there, and now we should be good. A little bit more fair. Two male restrooms, two female restrooms. Let's slow down time a little bit. I have noticed, too, that people absolutely love these kiosks over here. You can see a nice little congregation of passengers over there. That's something that we're going to improve on here eventually. Uh, definitely more people are using the kiosks than are actually using the ticketing desks, so... So yeah, definitely want to expand on that here in the near future. Now, let's go ahead. Let's actually focus on improving this. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to hold off on this until we get into a little bit later uh, in the evening time. I do want to focus on the, uh, the grants because the grants are going to allow us to get those early morning flights. And I think as of right now, that is like our number one priority. Now, as you can see here, Large-scale operations. Load 10 planes with a functioning outdoor baggage system. That is done. As you can see here. Clearly says done. Now, it says build two large or extra large aircraft gates. Alright, so we have to do that. And then increase the overall airline interest to 70. We are way, way, way over 70. 93%. Um, so, really, we just have to build that one extra large gate. So, why don't we go ahead? Why don't we knock that out? And then, because we already have the upper area done here, all we really have to do is... Well, I say it's done. However, unfortunately, it, it's not really done. Um, we have the flooring, but I still... I guess we still have to do the foundation, which is kind of a little bit... A little bit time-consuming, and it definitely costs a lot of money as well. I definitely want to increase the seating over here as well. I'm thinking maybe we'll, we'll kind of expand over here and do a little bit more of a seating area. Because this is kind of, uh, as you can see, we've got a ton of people up here on the second floor. And really only about 40% of them can, can sit. And now, what is wrong with that flight? Why are these people leaving? Why did those guys have to go? Um, that was a little interesting. Might have to look into that. I don't think we should have had any kind of delays or anything. Let's check... Um, perfect ops bonus, day 32, which was yesterday, we did not, oh, uh, you know what, we didn't get the, the perfect bonus for day 30, 31, or 32, is because that's when we were kind of messing with the, um, the baggage. So, not all people, I guess, could have picked up their baggage and all that, at least I think that's what the problem is. Not 100% sure, um, but we'll find out. I really wish I could turn down that jackhammering sound, because that is... That's pretty crazy annoying. <laughs> and you know what? I think we've definitely got a little bit of a glitch going on. Because why can we not see these zone overlays? I mean, I have them turned on so that they're visible. Yeah, no, okay. I never turned that off. 
Interesting, interesting. Anyways, moving on to something a little bit more interesting than zone overlays. I do want to do a little bit of research as well. So I want to get these lower income tax um, things researched and lower property tax as well. That's probably going to be important. However, to do both of those, we're going to need the VP of finance, um, which we should hire him or her immediately. And then the credit, credit reporting, I'm not too worried about. But the VP of Finance, that's something I want to get done. Now, the VP of Finance is going to have to have an office. And as of right now, we do not have any room for him. I guess we could maybe stick him over here. Hmm. We could maybe build another office over here. But ultimately, I think what we're going to do is we're going to relocate our offices over here to the second floor. So I don't really want to invest the time and the money into expanding that if we're not going to go uh, with that for future episodes. And then let's just take a look at this. Let's appreciate how this works. And then these bags over here are just kind of stuck because those are from when I was experimenting with the baggage system uh, off camera. So yeah, those are probably going to be there for a little while. And then look, why are these guys... Hold on. Like, why do you have... What's wrong? What's wrong? Did you miss a flight or something? Uh, missed flight. Pursuing pickup zones, frustration, missed flight, arrow time, 8434, gate C1. So that's the big one. Why did you miss the flight? What's going on over here? Well, let's do a forced departure. Yes, get out of here. And then hopefully that kind of fixes whatever that issue was. These guys are able to leave. And that's, they kind of took a really funky route. Like, why did they go all the way around over here? That didn't really make too much sense. And we do have the the two gate agents. And, I mean, like, queues are set up and everything. But, okay, that appears to be working fine now. Um, let's take a quick look. Boarding. 109 passengers. Excellent. Love to see that. 21 passengers in line. Six passengers are in route. Everything has been loaded, unloaded, all that good stuff. Um, okay, good. We're starting to get some more passengers. And that's probably because of the uh, the baggage system. I think that might be playing a role in why, why we're getting more passengers on these flights. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead. We're going to dismantle this wall. Probably dismantle that trash can as well. We're obviously going to want to put down the flooring just like we have throughout the entire second story. That's not going to take too long. And then I am going to want to put another late, uh, large gate over here. And I think this might be our large, uh, our last large gate. I think after this one, I'm going to start focusing solely on the extra large gates. Uh, zone, no. Um gate there we go large aircraft gate rotate this correctly requires ground floor okay let's put that right there that'll get built we're gonna need to put the door over here as well we're really man this is gonna be a busy episode got the baggage system got this large gate got the conveyor system and all that stuff placed a lot of jackhammering. Absolutely hate to hear that, but you know what? Nothing really we can do about that besides turning off all the game audio, and I don't want to do that. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. If it is too loud, I'm just going to have to edit that out, or actually I'm going to have the um, the editor. Uh, he's going to edit that stuff out. Oh yeah, nice little expansion there. That's going to be good. And I'll worry about the decorations a little bit later. Man, that that's that. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear that. That is absolutely super annoying. All that jackhammering. Ah oh, man. Yeah, I think we're going to need another at least one more baggage claim. And already we have some more stuff here that didn't get sold. Um, we can't sell the steel, the paint, or the concrete, huh? That's probably a little bit of a bug as well. 6.47 in the evening. Passengers 
Um, maybe we have a few more flights coming in. Looks like we do. However, I think it's going to be pretty safe here soon to try to work on that runway. But you know what? This video is already 20 minutes old. I think I'm going to work on the runway at a later time. Let's see. How are they doing over here? Okay. Flooring is done. They should start constructing this large gate here. There it is. Knocking that out. Excellent. Baggage system is working. Now, we do not have the large planes coming in yet because the the runway hasn't been expanded. But that is definitely going to be something that I focus on in the next episode. Uh, door is in there. This needs It just needs to get attached to ticketing desk and all of that good stuff. But you know what? That stuff's going to get done in the next episode, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, a lot of stuff got done. A lot of stuff that we've been waiting a very long time to accomplish has been done and there's still more work to do we're going to do that in the next episode of some airport if you guys are liking the series and you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet do me a favor hit that subscribe button uh also let the uh let the notifications stay turned on that way you guys get notified whenever there is a new sim airport video we just started plutocracy on the channel a little while ago as well that's going well hopefully you guys are watching that uh, it's a pretty fun game anyways guys stay safe and i'll see you guys on the next video until then, have a good one, and I'll see you later. Bye.